What? Green people, you are watching the Gopher and Tuck show. This is the intro and later's the outro. If we fuck up, we will scream like an alto. If you love it, you should leave a comment. Yo, subscribe though. Like though. Share though. What you here for? <laughs> now to the video. Question of love, you regain some of your losses. I use the items. I'm told the union is involved in the local drug trade. I forgot he has a voice for like halfway through this one. There was a hair in my mouth. God damn, I'm not doing that voice. <laughs> I gotta think of something. <sighs> he's fat, he's fat, he's fat, he's fat, he's fat. What? <laughs> he smacks his forehead completely flabbergasted. How the hell can you say that to me? <laughs> You do, do, I appreciate his joke as much as you can. he put on like 80 pounds. Yes, as any guy, fat guy, but you can't take slander. Are you actually investigating this? The reaction appears to be sincere, but it's possible to tell this guy, honestly. I am. If anyone thought I was going to do that high pitched thing that he was doing, no. <laughs> <laughs> the man rubs his temple and closes his eyes in pain. You hurt me, Harry. Me, a friend. But you know what? He perks up. I don't think he does. <laughs> and he gets, gets over it in two seconds. Seems like it didn't really hurt him. Fuck. There we go. I trust you. Like, I trust all my friends. And I know you'll never talk to me about this again. Because you don't want to ruin me. So, <laughs> so do what you want and let's change the subject. Thank you for understanding. Lieutenant looks him in the eyes. We will continue right. to do what we must. You do, Lieutenant. <laughs> <laughs> Chuckles suddenly. You know I like you, but you never my favorite. I'm a hairy guy. I'm Team Harry. You do look like a hairy guy. <laughs> <laughs> I really wish I could do Cornette's voice, because that's just Cornette in the face <laughs> in that picture. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> None taken. The man quickly replies and then turns to you. Did, did we have anything else to do here, Harry? Uh, you called me Mr. Dubois. Why? Of course, it's a disgrace with the formalities. You call me every day, call you Harry. Is that really my name? My god, so it's true. I didn't want to believe it, but you are Francis. <laughs> you. <laughs> he shrugs with an amazed expression. <laughs> What would be the odds of that? I think the odds of that... He looks at you. ...are very low. It's true. My memory is a bit easy. I assure you, there is nothing to be ashamed of, Harry. You are among fed, is it? Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> <laughs> he steps on the floor in front of him. I have a big, <laughs> fat photo on you, Harry. <laughs> I'm sure you have a lot of questions to ask. Maybe I can help you out. Dude, find some stuff. I'm sure you have some concerns you thought I might be able to address. He pauses to look down on a brown folder on his desk. <laughs> Sorry, I had some, I had some oysters. And you were <laughs> probably right, I can. Are you, are you trying to tell me you've gotten a whole, oh, some kind of document? Our documents, you know, the, me. The lieutenant me. inspects Everett over his spectacles. Mr. Casey Gary, you, <laughs> would you mind? His eyes never leave yours. Me and Harry are talking about his lost identity right now. Don't just jump on the floor, that's not smart. Show him you're on the edge. Do some probing first. Of glory. Oof, have another look at that folder. Mm. Let me see. Don't, don't just jump to the folder. Okay, so let, let's get this straight. What is my full name? It's Harry. He glances at the folder. Harry Du Bois. Wait, I thought you are Harry Du Bois. <laughs> no, I'm cracking a cold one with the boys. You're <laughs> Harry Du Bois. Okay, I like it. I can work with that. And I can work with you, Harry. He raises the next finger. No. What else can I do for you? You know where I live? But of course, Harry. He nods. Did I just become fucking haggard? <laughs> <coughs> you appreciate You're a wizard, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> you 
activated. Your patience is fully first, and you haven't been jammed. I'm sleeping for the words. <laughs> you be jammed, bro, boy, alone. <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> you ain't gonna be my family? Do I have a wife or kids? Or... I'm just, uh, I feel bad for Kim having to sit here between these two voices. <laughs> family? Harry, you're not a family, man. There's no you one. You a family guy? Of... <laughs> I'm more of an American troll dad. <laughs> nah, see what I did? <clears throat> there's, there's not one people family in here. Unless you think you're a family man. Do you strike yourself as a family man, Harry? Yeah, and I don't. I don't know why I got so aggressive. But... That's why I like you, Harry. His fat, shitty, disgusting finger is pointing at you. <laughs> A good man knows both his strengths and his weaknesses. And you, my friend, you are one of the all-time greats. What kind of a cop does it say I am? Harry, you're not simply a cop. You're a star. A bright, shining star in the Traveler Enforcement Sky, outshining all of other stars. You're a superstar. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, you me. Of course I do, Harry. Man, achievement. Ah, <laughs> uh, he smiles, a sly smile. And I'm gonna help you shine. I'm the light, put... man. I'm your light, let, let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. <clears throat> I'm gonna put you in all the big stages, big boy. Your name is the giant neon lights, Harry DeBoo. <laughs> DeBoo. <laughs> the giant neon sign reading Harry Dubois hanging from the, the crane can be seen all the way to Jamrock. Somewhere in Marova, a beautiful woman sees the bright glow on the horizon and says to herself, Oh my god, I shouldn't messages. have left him. I'm just gonna check my messages. <clears throat> Wait, when did, you, when did you get that folder? I thought it said, Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Odd this. He closed the folder. My friend in your organization gave it to me, Harry. I found that very suspicious. May I have a look? I'm afraid this is meant for you. You and I is only Mr. Casey Gary. I'm sure you understood. Alright, this one up from 58 to 72. Let's see. Yeah! If you look at the folder, Everett covers it with his hand and pets it. Is he trying to hide that it's not a real RCM folder? It certainly doesn't have the RCM stamp on it. That's not an RCM folder. Okay, here you got me. Okay, you didn't even fucking try. <laughs> <laughs> like, shit, alright, the jig is up. He <laughs> says, grinning. This is from the Census Bureau, not the RCM. The Census Bureau people are absolutely good ribbed. You should do something about them. He's got the name from the Census Bureau and everything else from our actions here, Martinez. Yes, yes, Mr. Kakigiri, from the Census Bureau, like I said. He looks annoyed. Now I'm actually a very busy man, so it's anything I can do for you, Harry. That means he doesn't really know anything about you. Pity, the mystery of you will have to remain a mystery for the time being. No. So this Census Bureau says my name is Harry Dubois. Yeah, we see. Try not to keep up, okay? Try not to keep up, Brandon. Try to keep up, okay? <laughs> this we would. Can you help me get a dead body down from a tree? You might have noticed there's one hanging on a tree behind the hostel cafeteria. Me. He smiles pleasantly. You take this question personally, but why would I get involved in this matter? Mr. Clare, the man was hanged from, a, mm, hang from hanged with a cargo belt, steel reinforced cargo belt. It's safe to assume the Union had something to do with the murder. Besides, getting the body down would benefit all of us. It's a stain on the neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, it's a belt thing. <laughs> also, I study the footprints at the crime scene, worker boots. I can certainly see how having him up there might start affecting <clears throat> some real estate values. He licks his fat, disgusting lips and smiles a hideous, fucking nasty ass, disgusting smile. <laughs> but of course, all joking aside, I am going to help you. Did you have a stroke in the middle of that? <laughs> he picks up the handset of the radio phone to his right and clicks a button. <laughs> 
John Luke, my boy, I'm sending two police officers down. They have a dead body in a tree, probably they need help with. Namely, they needed to be taken down. And John, please take it easy with the race science. That's a yes to getting the body down. No to the race science. He hangs up, turns back to you. You can fade John Luke down by the gates. He turns back to you. He's the big impressive one. You know, the tattoos and the muscles. Very ethnic looking. Can't miss him. Great guy. Okay. Uh... Oh, 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 wait. There's the grass cutting again. We're done? Okay. Well, your heads are fun now. The video's over. Like, share, subscribe. Play the video over. Click on that bell to be notified when we post vids from sun to fry. Oh, no. Don't forget sat. We'll be here all week. Bring your ass back. Now, watch another video, y'all. Yeah.